Hello? Hi, Derek. Speaking. Hi, it's Detective on the back. Hi. I went back and I looked at the report that you filed the other day, okay? Okay. Uh, what, last week? Two weeks ago. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a few weeks ago anyways. Okay, so I, I've gone back and I've looked at that. Obviously, there's, you know, there's some, you know, issues, and I'm going to talk to her about it as well, okay? And uh, so I'm not looking at it at one side here, right? I, I, I told you I was kind of coming up and saying straight up, I don't have any criminal charges against you, okay? There's not, no concern there in regards to this complaint. Um, so I'm just going back to yours. You mentioned your daughter was bullied on the 12th of January. Correct. Right? And you said that that was re re related to your daughter or Facebook messages that were posted. Yeah, she goes... She goes on to Facebook and she starts messaging my daughter's friends and stuff like that, saying that which never ever happened. And then when she goes to school, she gets bullied by her friends because they're and all this crazy shit, you know. And it's it's not on, not only just putting me through stress now, but she's putting it through my my daughter through the same thing. I I could tell you right now, if she was just sitting here calling me an asshole or a douchebag or whatever, I wouldn't give a crap, you know. But when you start telling me the are putting that shit into my kid's head, stuff like that that never happened. Like, I've told this woman, like, I'll pay for the fucking lie detector test tomorrow. Let's go. You know what I mean? I've never done that type of shit in my life. Never. With my, with my other act, there has never been any type of, any complaint at all with that. My current girlfriend has never, ever any complaint. The only yes. things coming is from this yes. whack job. That's it, you know? And she's been warned. Justice Judge McKinnon warned her multiple times in the family court that she needed to stop this stuff. So she stopped it in the family court, goes outside the family court. But it still doesn't change the fact that she's been sitting there because she started moving around the city for like six years where I couldn't even get, get a hold of her, so I couldn't serve her with any papers. And all that time, I didn't see my kids. And then just now, the last Last, like year and a half I've been starting to build a relationship with my oldest daughter where she's got my have with her too and she's got the youngest one with, with who is 14 completely brainwashed she thinks I'm some sort of monster and what, you know her name I, I just I don't have my youngest is and then my oldest is okay so like like I said I totally understand your frustration uh, I'm not necessarily saying it, it's not even a frustration thing though it's yeah. just a thing that it's been a decade now and this this and this woman just needs to be exposed for who she is that's it you know like I like I like I explained to you there's reason behind the video and until I until I feel like I want to take the video down it's staying up and and I you know completely you're right right you know, and, and, and like, just between me and you, I just want you to firmly know that this is not done under a malicious act. This is a straight-up awareness, and a serious. I have serious issues with her having kids in her care. Even the youngest one, who's not my kid, I don't even feel should be there. This woman is off her rocker, like, and the people don't know that. And I've lived with her for 10 years. I know who she is. Now the whole family is the same way. Like, the whole family, both sides. Like, sometimes there's one side that's a little bit, you know, like, whatever. Both sides of her family are just straight up crazy. <laughs> Cousins messing with cousins and all kinds of weird shit going on in that family, you know? And they all back each other up no matter what. So once CAS or anything or court, anything is involved, they just all clan up and back each other up like nothing ever happened, yeah. you know? And this is really the first time that one of them actually gets like, put up on a video and just called right out to say, you know what? No, you, you aren't who you're telling everybody who you are. You're straight up crazy and you treat your kids like shit, you know? And you guys do drink alcohol like... Who does that in the middle of a heated argument, pull hard liquor out and start mixing drinks in front of kids? You know what I mean? And calling her kid a fucking retard, telling her that she fucking hates her. Like, th these are issues, it's man. It's, well, it's, def it's definitely an issue, you know? And it's it is. And, and that's why... And, and if CAS does look at it and they actually do something about it, then at that time I probably will take the video down. But until I feel that something's been done... <laughs> or any type of justice has been served, it's like I'm, it's staying up, you know? Yeah. And this is not a, you know, a fuck the police thing or anything like that. Like, I'm, I'm like trying to tell you, like, I mean, my child is in there and I have genuine issues of what's going on inside that house, you know? And I've exhausted myself with every proper avenue. Like, you don't even know I've done everything by the book. 
I've never harassed her. There's not one complaint of me showing up at her house freaking out or anything like that. You know, and I, because I know, I know as soon as I do any type of shit like that, I'm going right into cuffs. And I know that. You probably see pick me before you call me, so you know that I know that. Well, I, I, you know, you know, I have an extensive criminal record, so I'm like, you know, I mean, I'm just letting you know that, yeah, I do know that. But I've been out of trouble for like roughly 20 years now. You know, and I don't have any other charges or anything like that. I don't, I don't think I was calling you. you know. No, but I'm just like trying to give you the background on me is, you know, like I, I know the game and you know what I mean? And like, I, I, that's why I've tried to exhaust every proper avenue I could by calling you guys and making you aware of the situation, trying to call Children's Aid, trying to talk to these workers. We even had the office of the children's lawyer come in and try and do their investigation. And, you know, and it was like the whole family court thing was just a complete mess because she just kept lying over and over in the courtroom. And every time the judge caught her, he would just tell her not to do it. And I'm frustrated sitting there thinking like, shit, man, if this was criminal court, man, that judge would have your ass, you know, because the criminal court judges don't put up with that lying shit in their courtroom. You know, if you lie in criminal court, they'll put you in jail right there in that day. Yeah. You know, but this family court thing, it was like a friggin', yeah, but his family court thing was like a kangaroo court as far as I'm concerned because everybody was just a free-for-all up in, you know, and like a, on on my end, being the being the father, like my hands are already sort of stacked against me just walking through the door. It's a lot fairer than it was 20 years ago, but it's still not... 50 50 you know so like having to fight that plus having to go through all of her bullshit and everything at the same time it was just hell you know yeah so you know, for for lack of better word i say frustration but i mean there's no other better word because like, i sense it from you right it's, oh it is and, uh, yeah but and, years but any man would be that's accused for that them type of allegations right like i mean you know that's do you have any proof like i'm just asking you if you have any any you know you, i know your daughter said that she was hearing from other people but does she have any of those people that are willing to give her the post um i, I can talk to her about it but i don't Cause i can give you the case number do you have the case number from your original initial complaint i'll just you have it there i'll just write it down just okay i'll just take it down just okay go ahead dash yeah. So I was, you know, I, I missed the fact that that one was there. I didn't see that one, and I apologize for not reviewing that more. Um, you know, I, I like I said, I, I sense the frustration, and I was just noticing that there wasn't any in that case. There wasn't any evidence, but obviously, it's something that you know rehashes the old animosity, right? You, you, it doesn't seem like there was much going on between the two of you for a little bit leading up to that, you know. But well, no, because she went like I told you, she went on the run for like six years. She was moving every every three four months. I couldn't I couldn't find her anywhere. And then like when I went to the family court to try and do anything. They said that I needed an address to serve her, and without an address, I couldn't do anything, you know. And then again, I like the big, the whole family plans up. So as soon as you know, I try to talk to any of them. There's no response, right? And then it was just, and then it was just by chance that my girlfriend's kids actually went to the same school as my daughters did, and then that's how the reconnection happened. And then of course with social media, me. And started to to talk and stuff like that and now we you know she comes and sees me like three four times a week we talk all the time and stuff and she knows I'm not the person that her mother's made me out to be you know like she tells her like these stupid stuff like she's had to hide under the bed for all the beatings that I've given her and stuff like that I mean you look at the file there's none of that stuff there man I don't have no domestics or anything like that in my life you know, I've never struck a woman ever in my life, never, you know, and like I said, like I got, you know, probably like 100 convictions or whatever on my record, and and none of them have to do with anything to do with violence towards women or anything like that. Yeah. You know, so like her whole, her whole thing is just, you know, it's just stupidity because I, Everybody that truly knows me, that knows the real me, knows that that's that. Even my ex with my kid, we're at, we have a family matter going on right now. She hates me. like, And I don't equally really like her as much, but she'll tell you I never hit her or she'll... You know? And this is coming from somebody that genuinely really hates, you know? But she'd still tell you, no, he doesn't beat women. 
because that's not what I do. But she's been running around for 10 years telling the kids that I was, like, locking her in her closet for a week and not giving her food. And, you know, she's even told my girlfriend's daughter these stories, that I stabbed her through the eye with a screwdriver and, like, all kinds of crazy shit, you know? And it's just, like... And now the kids, well, especially my youngest daughter, are like, I can understand why she's freaked out because she's got her mother saying all this crap, right? Mm-hmm. You know, so, like... Well, I, I, I've made sure that your previous that that one goes to the CAS as well and I've asked that this one also go and I know that it already has so they are going to get both and obviously you know they'll take it all into consideration and it's um, you know I, 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 I'm here I am hearing you what you're going through if, if your daughter can get because I know it seems like she's maybe the only person that's going to be able to get that information you know yeah. that communication um, but if you get those to me I'll attach them to the file do you have a do you have an email address uh, sure yeah. at ottawapolice.ca okay I'm not the lead investigator on 888 uh, but I'm willing to attach them for you just so that they're there on record. Okay, yeah, it's just if I have an email, it's just a bit easier. That way, if there's any sort of screenshots or anything, I can just attach them to the email itself. Yeah, sometimes there's a limit to how much I can receive. So, ju- you know, uh, just, and if you do send, like, say there's 10 of them, make sure that you send, uh, you know, you number them 1 to 10, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's no problem. I'll compress them too so they're really small anyways. Oh, you got some, some skills there. I don't know how to do that. Um, you know, like, unfortunately, I mean, I'm, I was straightforward with you about the fact that there's no charges. I'm you merely to try to discuss it. And I understand where, where you're coming from. I don't necessarily, I'm, I'm not agreeing that that's the best way, but that's your right if that's what you want to do, right? You understand where I'm coming from here? Yeah, no, I hear you. Um, you know, and and I was merely calling, not knowing your full background, and I'm and I'm hearing you. Um, but you know, it, there's got to be a stop to it somewhere. And uh, yeah, well, I'm hoping that this, I'm hoping that this is going to be it. You know, maybe this is an eye opener or whatever. You know what I mean? But to her about your complaints, even though I don't have the ground, like the the evidence in eight eight. I'm going to talk to her, too, and, and express to her that if she's doing that in return to you, that she's got to be mindful of what she's posting on, right? Exactly, exactly. And it's this whole, not even just online, but I mean, like, you know, just in daily life, you know what I mean? You just, you know, we broke up, like, over 10 years ago, man, and I just fucking grow up already is what I'm saying, you know? Like, like even after I finally did track her down after six years, you know, like, I thought, you know what, maybe, just maybe she might have grown up, you know? Crazier than before. God damn, man. Well, I, I hope you guys can one day move past it. I, I mean, it's... I can't see it. Like, I mean, I can't see it. I can see this just going on long enough until the kids are no longer in any of our care. And then, you know, and then it's just who can build the relationship with the kids and just do their thing, I think, you know. But I can't see this, like, ever being fixed or even, you know, becoming civil, you know. Never be friends. You'll probably never be friends. But hopefully you guys will, she'll move on and, and you guys and you guys can just, you know, enjoy your kids, you know, uh, you know relationships with your kids. Um, and- without any interference. Yeah, well, I mean, that will happen the day that she tells my, at least my young, my, because my oldest already knows, but that will happen the day she tells my youngest one that she's been lying to her about all this shit and none of it's happened, you know? And until then, it's just, with me, it's not resolved, right? Because my daughter thinks that this happened, you know, and she thinks that, you know, like all these beatings and everything that she took really did happen, you know? When in reality, she was three when I left, you know? So you don't know nothing at 14 of what happened at three years old anyways, right? No. You know, but I mean, like, not only, not only, like, I mean, the 10 years with her, but not only the, just the 10 years with her, but I mean, you can check my whole thing. I ain't got no domestics with nothing to do with none of that stuff on my record with nobody. You know, like, all of my stuff is property and theft-related stuff, and that's it. Like, none of it. And, and like I was saying, I, 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 I do see that, that there's no... I mean, obviously, there's some child custody issues. There's, you know, partner dispute kind of calls. But there, you're right. There is no, there's no assaults that I see. Nothing and, like, uh, and not, no calls while we while we were inhabited together. Yeah. Right. Like, I mean, the only calls that ever happened were after we were together, and it was just 
like you said, he said, she said stuff. And, and, and you know, and that's one issue though is that people, you know, sometimes never come forward to the police until years later. And I'm not saying that's the case, but you know, obviously, this, you're right. It's he said, she said stuff. And without corroborative evidence, there's no, you know, there's no way to prove it. And there's no way to also deny it. It's there, right? And uh, and because uh, like even like, like a, you you don't have anything like like that, and you've been straightforward with me. So no, and like even still like when we like and this is probably documented with the police too but like initially when we broke up like I had I had come home early from work and she had come in through the door after I got there at like two o'clock in the morning when she was supposed to be home with the kid and so I questioned her obviously like where the hell like where the hell were you at and she broke down and tried this on a story that she went over to some guy's place or whatever and he raped her and so she went and they like, filled out the police report, went through the rape kit thing at the police, at the hospital and went and filled out an official report and gave the guy's name and everything and said he raped her. And then the next day just recanted everything, you know, and this is the type of woman that I'm dealing with, you know, like she's just completely not stable at all. And then going back to the fact that she's got kids in her care, you know, and like the way she talks, like she's talking about to to my daughter about fat people and stuff like she shouldn't be teaching the kids that type of stuff like there's some fat guy or some person that's like all like buff and good looking there's no difference between them they're still two different they're just people right yep you know and she's teaching them to like discriminate against certain people if this person doesn't have a look and you know it's it's just not good man you know it's, you know and this, that's where CAS is is you know it's, it's, those aren't police matters either no no I understand that I'm just trying to build this like I, so you know on your side I'm just trying to show you the caliber of you know the video I know she tries yeah like I know she tries to put it together and she tries to you know but she's really not like you know so but I mean, the, what I can do is I'll talk to you and I'll see if I can get some of the messages that were sent from Marianne. Now, the other thing, too, is that she logs in to the account sometimes and she posts these things as which is my other daughter. Because there were some, like, I had taken the comments off of the YouTube thing just because I knew that they would just, like, start running their mouth off on the comment thing. So... Like I just we know online, right? We know how how online things get out of control because people can yeah be anonymous, right? And but I did leave I did leave it at like the comments are are live, but I just left them to be uh, moderated. So I get all the comments, but I have to publish them in order for anybody on the YouTube to see them. Oh, okay. So I'll, you know, and that's res that's understandable. Yeah, and I'll keep a screenshot of that too to send to you. Also, that's what I'm saying. Like that shows that she does log into my other daughter's account because that's like she basically just says it right out there that she is in account so that's what i mean like some of the messages they may look like they're coming from because they're in her account but they're not her it's actually marianne using account to send the messages right so. okay. well i mean so if you do send me them um you know i don't need a, t a ton of them i mean obviously i need the ones that are the uh I'll just send you the most pertinent stuff I have. Like, I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to send you 2,000 screenshots or anything. I'll just send you, like, yeah. like five or ten of the most pertinent ones. And then if anything else is needed, then uh, you can just email me back and let me know. Yeah, so you know the, so you know the case number, so is the one that you were two weeks ago. Um, yeah. If, you're, if you end up getting anything that your daughter is able to retrieve that shows her mom making these statements, I'll post those. Um, I'm still going to address it with her anyways when I talk to her. Um, okay. Now, but I mean, obviously, it, uh, there's no teeth in it because I, I don't have any grounds to say that she is doing it. I don't have any corroborative evidence. Um, and it's merely to say, like, this isn't, obviously, this is going to get out of hand. If, you, if you're saying you're doing stuff online, you can't expect somebody else who has video of it, a, a true event, to, you know, that, you know, you're able to do what you will with it, right? As long as you're not fabricating. Correct, yeah. Right? But even then, that may not be a criminal offense. So, um, well, no, and the thing is, is like, they're, what they're, their big, whole big argument is, is that they're saying that I edited the video or whatever. And of course I did edit the video because the, the one, the, the phone only takes like certain like size videos and then it cuts off and then you got to like on my daughter's phone and then you got to start another video.
Yeah. And then in order to send out the videos, because on with the phone data, it won't allow you to send large files, so you have to chop them up. So when they were sent to me, they were sent to me in six or seven different clips, like ranging from like two minutes to seven minutes per clip or whatever. And then again, I just took out the pertinent stuff that was inside the, the videos and then made it into the one video. But I still kept the raw videos. So I have all of the originals that are unedited. So is it for your records? I definitely... I have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying for the police investigation, I'm saying... No, but Children's Aid might want to see them or something. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Like, if it was to become a civil matter, I would say for your own uh, records, keeping, a, keeping documentation is a good thing. I keep everything. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so yeah, just make, make sure when you send something for a specific case that you give me the case number. I, in the subject line, it helps me distinguish. Now, well, what about the other? Now, what about the other one that number? Is that a different case? No. So the case okay, so is is Marie's complaint. Oh, that's her complaint, and then the and then the other one is my complaint. Yes, exactly. Okay. I'm I'm technically the lead investigator on one, but I'm I'm listening to you for both, and I'm gonna kind of give her the same spiel I gave you two. Uh, obviously. Um, you know, an eye for eye, an eye, uh, both, you know, both people get hurt, right? So, yeah. Um, to put it bluntly, but I... Well, my only concern really is the kids, really, you know, like, that's my, like, like I said, like, if this was just some instance where she was running around calling me an ass or a dickhead or something, I really wouldn't care, you know what I mean? And I would just, like, turn around and just, like, just laugh that stuff off. It's not a problem, you know. But this is serious stuff, you know. It's criminal, you know. Like, like the allegations that she's making against me are criminal allegations, you know. And not to mention of how damaging they are to my kids, you know. And, like... But you said the CAS already looking at it and have already found that those things didn't happen. Am I right? Correct, yeah. And, and like, and I, and I even told Marianne, I'm like, I'm willing to pay for a lie detector test tomorrow. Let's go do it, you know. Not even to say that these things are like 100% accurate or whatever. I mean, I definitely wouldn't know how to defeat one or anything like that. But I mean, it would at least give, you know, at least another 90% reassurance that I'm telling the truth, you know, like I was raised pretty much like from 13 to 20 in the prison system, you know, we box these people out on a daily basis. Like, you know, like that's just not who I am at all. You know, like I was pretty much raised from a young kid learning to just hate these type of people to the maximum, you know? And I mean, you do know what type happens to those people in prison, right? So you hear stories. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like, you know, I mean, they definitely don't walk around in mainstream population. But you don't, you don't hope to, like, you don't sound like you ever plan on going back there. So I think, uh, I don't know, but I also don't want some guy smashing me in the face on the side of the street saying that I'm a or something, right? Because of some bullshit that he's read on social media and caught my name. Yeah. You know, and that that very well could happen. You know. Well, we 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 hope that it doesn't, and um, you know, I'll have, yeah, me too. Yeah, I know. I'll I'll talk to her as well, and just let her know that you know she has to be mindful about the things that she posts as well. Okay. Um. Okay. Hopefully that's because uh, I know I noticed that that other matter hasn't you know hasn't been assigned to anybody. But if you send me any documentation of that, yeah, like I mean, I'll send you whatever I can, and that that's all I can really tell you. Like I'll talk to. See if she can get the messages from her friend that Marianne was sending to them. And then if I can get those, then like I said, I'll just forward everything I got to your email box. And then... And I'll attach them to that file for you for information purposes for future. Okay, so it'll always be there if needed. Okay. Okay. Um, now, like we were talking about earlier, we were talking about uh, you, know, you, you wanted my... If you'd like that, I'll give that to you. I don't have to, but I will if you want. What's that? My, my, my badge number. That's fine. That's fine. Would you like it? No, no, that's fine. Okay. Um, so you, you send me send me an email if you do get them and if you don't you don't um, this file is as far as I'm concerned is closed the, the the one I called you about initially okay okay all right yeah the only thing with the badge number was it's just like I mean you're calling me from an unknown number you I, I can call I can call anybody up and just say yeah I'm so-and-so with the Ottawa police and I need to speak to you mm -hmm. you know what I mean like that's why I wanted it because when I, I was just gonna call back to verify that you actually work there oh I, well, I would have given you my phone number you could have called me directly 
Okay. Yeah, well, that was the only reason why I was just really, that was really the only reason why I wanted it was to just to verify, like, okay, yes, I'm actually speaking to somebody and not somebody that just says they're with the police, right? So. Yeah, you know what, oftentimes when I'm talking to somebody and ask someone for personal information, I'd be hesitant to provide it to someone who I haven't verified their, inf you know, their identity. So I always say, do you want to call me back, right? So, you know, no problem, no worries. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, like, I wasn't trying to be, I wasn't trying to be belligerent or anything like that in any way. I was just that, that I just wanted to just keep that from my records also as to who I speak to. And yeah, to well, I'm assigned as the lead on, on the, re you know, the, the two, and, uh, you know, obviously I put a report and what I talked to you about. Okay. But, uh, okay, well, I, you know, obviously uh, I think we've kind of, uh, you know, discussed what we need to discuss and, and send me what you have uh, if you end up having it, if you end up locating it. Yeah, I'll speak to the morning and then if uh if there's anything that i can get then i'll i'll fire it off to your email okay sounds good okay perfect okay you have a good night darcy okay you too thanks okay bye bye